Hello and welcome back. Um, it's another Sunday night here. Uh, going to go over my weekend sales here uh, for eBay. Um, got some interesting sales, definitely different stuff this weekend. And then also I want to go into how I plan on sourcing this winter and kind of doing some stuff for the winter. Uh, but first of all, we'll go over some kind of generic sales. If you tune in, you kind of see the same stuff every type of week. Um, so this video game here, Sonic Boom, a um, couple of things you want to look for. Any of your Wii U type games, uh, they made these in short print, so they're going to have a good value. Uh, usually your Sonic games go around 10 or 15 bucks, but this Sonic Wii U game goes for about 30 bucks free shipping. So, uh, of course, it's complete as always. This disc is excellent, that type of thing. Um, but uh, anytime your Wii U or your GameCube games, they seem to have uh, they seem to have a premium above standard games like PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, Xbox, that type of thing. Um, sold. Uh, I had a customer reach out to me and said, "You've got two different Tasmanian Devil hats," and I said, "Yes, I do have two Tasmanian Devil hats." And he said, "Will you do me a deal?" And I said, "Sure." Um, he, he said that he had lived in um, Pulaski, Virginia, which is really close to where I, I live. And he said he lives in Waynesboro now. But uh, he said, what well, did he do me a deal? And I said, yeah. I said, if you'll pay full price for this, which was $24.44, I'll let you have this one for 10 bucks. And this one was $18.88. So I knocked off eight bucks. Um, so that's about four piece knocking off. Uh, so you're looking at about $34.44 free shipping uh this will go in a box i'll still keep these together like this i'll put them in a bag put them in a box ship them that shouldn't be too hard at all but that was a good profit i paid a buck a piece for those those tasmanian devils i've had them two or three months in the store he made it you know i, I gave him a decent i think i gave him a really good offer and he he went for it um another good game here i sold this is spider-man for playstation 4 uh, this is uh, the, the newest Spider-Man, I think. Um, I really don't know. I don't keep up a lot with PlayStation 4, I'll admit. On some of the newer games, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, some of that, my my knowledge is not as strong as on others. But with Spider-Man and stuff like that, that stuff usually really sells well. Uh, that was another $29.99 plus free shipping. So uh, we'll go over some other stuff here. I uh, do have a clothing sale here. This is a Mickey Mouse women's shirt. See those patches and all? I thought it was really neat. Um, it's a size medium for women. Um, thing about it was, it's got a couple little makeup things. Um, little makeup spots, but it's not really bad. Uh, but I got $16 out of it, free shipping. Like I said, I paid a dollar at a yard sale for it. Usually your Disney stuff sells pretty well, so if you can find it for a dollar, you grab it. Um... Next here, this is something I would not, once again, as last week, we talked about something I would not buy. This is also something I would not buy in. I did get it for cheap. Um, this is VeggieTales on VHS. Uh, paid 10 cent a piece, so I got eight of them. So I got 80 cents in them. And I got $20, around $20, $22, I think, pre ship. I'm not exactly sure on that. Um, but I wouldn't do it again because it took... I thought it would go quicker than it did. I mean, I ain't had these a super long time, but I had them longer than I wanted to. So probably unless they're 10 cent again. I might do it again if it's 10 cent because I'm not I'm a sucker for stuff that's cheap. But not necessarily something I'd recommend, but it did sell. I'm glad to have it out the door. It does ship, ship cheaply because it ships media. These aren't extremely heavy. Uh, the little veggie tails are only about 30 minutes long, I think. So these don't weigh heavy, even though they're... Um, movie cassette type things. Uh, they they don't they won't weigh a whole lot. Um, but I do have some interesting sales. Uh, then we'll get into a story. Got this Lady Baltimore. It's a makeup overnight type case. That type of thing. Got the mirror. Got the everything in it. Um, got the thing there that uh, holds it. I gotta get that back to where it holds. But anyway. There it goes. But that goes. It's complete. Um, it's a little dirty on top, and I did put that in the description. But uh, I was at a state sale and picked it up for a dollar. 
and uh, sold it for thirty four ninety nine plus shipping. It's going a little way, so it's like twenty. Somebody paid twenty some dollars in shipping for it. So, but I've been picking up those overnight cases. Um, if they're a couple bucks, uh, uh, I mean a couple bucks, I generally pick them up. They do, they do pretty good. Um, you know, I, I've got a what I'm gonna do once I get this. I got a I got another piece of luggage I need to get listed, and that's gonna get listed next. Um, sold something else I haven't sold in a while. Um, this is a Vision Dutch oven but, um, bowl, right, whatever. Cooking Visions. It's the four quart, I think. This is the big daddy. It's pretty good size. Um, I got $25.99 uh, plus shipping, not free shipping. Um, I didn't have but like a couple bucks in. That's kind of why I grabbed it. I seen it. Had a couple bucks. The lid was still good. Everything. The bottom was still clean. Sometimes with vision, you have to watch out for the bottom being clean. Um, during when things were a little bit more scarce during the pandemic, um, you could pick up vision and do pretty well with it. Try to do that so I don't make a mess. Uh, I got peanuts for packaging it with. That'll help. And uh, I'm, I'm prepared, by the way. Uh, but during the pandemic more, uh, vision stuff was going pretty good. But as a recommendation, if it don't have the lid with it, I wouldn't buy it right now. That's just me. That's my opinion. Uh, you can do with that what you want. Uh, went to the Goodwill. Picked up a nice, clean, this thing, I ain't kidding you. If you could see how clean, and, and see, sometimes you can see on Under Armour stuff will be worn like this little logo here being worn or something. But I ain't kidding you. This thing here, here's the label. It's extra large. It's loose. It's men's. Look how good these uh, drawstrings and all is. I, I can't really show you how good this thing is, but this this thing is pristine. I mean, it looks like... I When now it comes that uh, the Goodwill charges $4.99 or more for clothing, um, I'm more picky with the clothes I pick up from the Goodwill. And I tried not to buy this thing, but it just was that clean. So anyway, uh, it sold uh, $27.99, free shipping out the door. This will go in a padded flat shipper, unless it's close. I can't remember where it went to, but um, if it's uh, not close, it'll go in a, a padded flat shipper. Um, one thing you're going to want to look for uh, I don't find this a whole lot, but these t-shirts are expensive. Now, Polo Ralph Lauren can be, just like anything else, you've got your real cheap bottom of the line, standard extra large polos, and then you've got all the way, there's even a purple label out there, which I've never seen, and I, I go through a thousand shirts a week, and I never see a purple. But anyway, something you look for is this double, double R, Polo Ralph Lauren. You won't see them very often. Uh, I've only had a couple of them myself this year. Um, anyway, uh, paid up a little bit for this. I think I paid eight or nine bucks for it, but it sold for $64.99 free shipping. $65 shirt. Just like I said, you look for that double R. Uh, I've even had hemp shirts that were double R, and those are good money too. Uh, but you won't find them often. Yeah, that's not a find often type thing. Um, want to go over something? Sometimes I explore into different paths. Um, go, you know, look for different things. I got a couple things here. Pokemon cards. Had a guy offer me some for sale. Um, one thing here is this uh, Chizard. I think I paid him two or three bucks. Probably paid three bucks for it. I got fourteen ninety nine free shipping out of it. It's lightweight. Won't be hard. Now, this is now the next one I paid up for. I really didn't know. Um, I mean, we looked up, but this ain't sports cards for me. So I told him, I said, I'll, I'm not going to pay quite as big as if I knew the sports cards and all that. But this one is Diegla, I think is how it's pronounced. Some people that are into Pokemon are really going to bust me on that. But I think his name is Diegla or something, EX. This is a, a rare uh, Pokemon card. Um, graded, these things can go a couple hundred dollars, if not more. Um, I told him I'd give him 35 bucks for it because I just didn't know. Is this buying a pig and a poke for me? Because my my education on Pokemon is, is, is 
it was nothing now it's this much you know so i paid him 35 bucks sold for 110 dollars free shipping i will be putting this in a better case than this right now this is just something to show you that uh, that i got it um but 110 dollars free shipping that's pretty good turnover on that took a couple weeks to sell but i'm pretty happy with that um went to a local book sale i picked up um a this yearbook it's from a high school in west virginia golly bridge high school it's a 1967 yearbook um paid a dollar and a half for it uh sold it for 34.99 free shipping it's lightweight um but i want to talk to about, about that really quick but address it at the same time um one thing that always sells two things that always sell if you watch enough by my videos Two things I always sell. Memories sell and necessity sells. The things that people have to have will always sell. Memories will always sell. So after it sells, I, I, I was making breakfast when I heard the ching. And so after I got done fixing breakfast, I went and checked on what it was it sold. And um, it was the, the, the yearbook here. And I was excited because I just listed it yesterday. And uh, so I'm happy anytime a yearbook, if you ever sold yearbooks, you can sell them in one day or you can sell them in a year and a half. It just depends. It takes a while sometimes. So anyway, so uh, a little bit of time passed. And I got a message from the guy and said, do you have any more yearbooks from that high school? And I said, no, I don't. And I said, I would have picked up them, um, picked them up because I find the late 60s and early 70s is kind of a sweet spot. Um for a, a yearbook, um, the yearbook type thing, because you either have one or two people that are interested in the yearbook. Um, those people being um, the thing that's interested in the yearbook, the two people that are interested are the parents themselves, the older person, or their kids. So when he messaged me, he wanted the other yearbooks. This was with his dad's senior year. And he was hoping that he could find his, you know, freshman through junior years. I said I didn't have them. Um, but the thing that's nice, this is going to be a Christmas present. What better way to give a, a present than a yearbook? Uh, the school, high school does not exist anymore. Um, it's located between Beckley, West Virginia, and Charleston, West Virginia, if you want to look it up. Uh, but the, it don't exist anymore. So, uh, like I said, two things that always sell are memories and necessity so that's definitely a memory um you know i, I like your books as long as i find them for a dollar two dollars that was a dollar and a half I'm fine with a buck and a half i wouldn't go no more than five unless i just you know i wouldn't go more than five anyway uh even if i felt it was a really good yearbook uh, unless i had some signatures um in my area um we've got three uh athletes that come from the area uh, J.J. Reddick, Tiki Barber, and Rondi Barber. They're all out of Cave Spring High School. So if I ever see Cave Spring High School yearbooks in the late 90s, I always look for them. I'm always wanting to find one autographed by one of them, but I never do find that. Um, but anyway, that's that's just you know kind of a yearbook thing. Um, but lastly, I wanted to touch on kind of what I'm planning to do here uh, for the end of the year and into uh, 2023 in the winter session. Uh, sometimes sourcing for me personally in this time of year is very tough. People with the holidays and all this. But I'm kind of finding out this year on uh, Facebook Marketplace, looks like a lot of people are selling stuff. Um, they may need money. I don't know exactly what their situation is. Maybe they just have a lot of stuff. Maybe they know a lot of presents is coming. I don't know what their situation is. Really none of my business. But uh, I'm keeping my eyes on Facebook Marketplace. Um, you know... At any place that, that, that has sell pipe places where people can list on, I definitely keep your eyes wide open. I think a lot of stuff's going to be on there. Some of it's going to be high, but I believe there's deals to be made. Um, also, I believe your stores, uh, keep your eyes on your stores. Uh, I'm not a big RA fan. Uh, that means retail arbitrage for those who don't know what that term needs. Um, but I believe there's going to be some good sales and stuff. Just keep your eyes open. And, and sometimes stores go ahead and drop the bomb on sales prior to Christmas. And you can get a good deal there too. Uh, so I would keep my eyes open on that. 
Also, um, you know, I believe that there'll be some donations. I'm not saying the Goodwill necessarily, but I believe there'll be some stores, um, Salvation Army or whatever thrift stores you have in your area. I would definitely keep my eyes wide open, maybe run in a, at least once a day during right after Christmas. Uh, I'm not saying you'll find miraculous stuff, but I, I really think there's opportunities. I really think um, this winter, I was, I, I, I tell you what, because I, I didn't have as good a yard sale season this year, so I don't have as much excess stuff to list. I was kind of worried going into the, the, the winter session uh, because usually the winter session is kind of tight, but I'm kind of optimistic now. I, I wasn't for a while. Uh, um, if you'd asked me in middle of October, no, early November, I said, I don't know how I'm going to make it, but I really think we'll be able to find stuff and list stuff. Now, I, I could be wrong. We're still just beginning, uh, but I've just got a good feeling about all this. Uh, like I said, just keep your eyes on Facebook Marketplace. Um, go retail arbitrage, hit you some stores, uh, your Lowe's, your Home Depot, keep your eyes on Walmart. Um, I see, I'm, I'm part of some Walmart clearance pages. Now, in my area, I haven't heard of this going on, but I have watched on the Walmart clearance pages, and a lot of stuff sells for three cent. So that's free merchandise. So even if you sell something for $10 plus shipping, it's all profit. How can you not lose? Uh, you can't lose. So, I mean, Walmart closing isn't horrible. It just ain't great. But if you can get $10 plus uh, shipping out of something, it's a win. And you only pay three cents for a pile of it. You know, it just may be that you'd have to have somewhere to store it a little bit because it may not be, uh, the sell-through rate may not be nothing awesome. But at least you'll have items to uh, to list and, you know, st and stuff will move. Stuff will sell. People will still look for clothing. Um, you know, and clothing will really pick up for me, it does, in the late March, early April. Um, usually I'll start selling shorts and polos and short sleeve shirts and that type of thing. Um, but that's all I've got for this week. I was looking on the schedule and, um, the thing that's coming up, we've got Christmas and New Year's on the Sunday nights. And um, I'm gonna still try to do a video. I'm not. I'm not trying to get away from that. It just may be because after Christmas and New Year's and all that, my sales might be kind of low. So we might have less what sold and more topic type stuff, uh, that type of thing. But generally, where I only do a video a week, I can probably come up with enough of a topic to to cover everything. So, but I just wanted to kind of let you know if you like this type of material, give me a like. Please comment. Tell me what's going on. What are you planning for the holidays? What holidays do you celebrate? By all means, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, is there a gift that you're looking for this holiday season that you really would like to get? Um, also, as always, I can use subscriptions. Take care. Have a good week.